so we saw another stellar quarter from Apple. We're over $200 a share. Uh, this is something that I predicted on my other videos. I'll put a link in the top right hand corner now to last quarter's earnings that were amazing as well. Uh, something else noticeable is that we're now approaching a $1 trillion market cap. Um, I think Apple, like I said, is going to be the first company to break this historical barrier. And that's definitely uh, something very interesting. So I was listening to the conference call, as I usually do here, and uh, found some very interesting uh, little tidbits in here, as well as other things that you may not have been aware of. Uh, of course, so revenue was $53.3 billion, so that's an all-time Q3 record. So that's 17% year-over-year growth. This is just incredible, guys. Like I said, last quarter, you know, we expected not really see much this quarter. Uh, just year-over-year, year, they keep growing and growing. And the biggest argument against Apple, why it has such a low PE, the forward PE now I think is somewhere around 14, is that, oh, well, there's issues with growth. Well, they've been saying that for 10 years. I think they've been saying that longer. I've been following the company for about 10 years and it just never comes true. EPS is up 40% year over year at $2.34 a share. Now, some of that has to do with them buying back um, shares with their capital return program, of course, but uh, still just incredible numbers. Net income up 32% year over year. Amazing. So iPhone wasn't expected to go out much, uh, but the revenue is up a 20% year over year, and this is due to higher ASP, so that's average selling price. Um, and of course, that is fueled by the iPhone 10. Um, that's something that I expected. And I expect to see these yeah, ASPs um, probably hit the $1,000 mark within the next five years or so. So the ASP is up uh, to $724 from 606 a year ago. So that's pretty amazing. Um, but along with that, they're also selling iPhones, 41.3 million. Um, people were expecting that ASPs were going to grow, but maybe these were going to, the numbers were going to uh, fall and they were going to offset each other. But Apple's still selling more. Um, they're still selling uh, selling record numbers, right? So that was about what analysts ex expected was 41.3 million. Now services, my favorite part of it, was 9.5 billion dollars in revenue. So they're saying that was fueled by the over install overall installed base, right? Because that's something that's generally uh, fueled by uh, people that own Apple devices. Um, one little caveat here was that there was a 200 million dollar favorable lawsuit in here. So this $9.5 billion was a little bit lower by $200 million because uh, they, they got that lawsuit uh, dealt with. So, But even excluding that, um, uh, Tim Cook said that uh, there was 28% growth year over year. And this uh, services revenue, I don't think it's going to continue at this um, you know, amazing pace, um, but it's still got a lot of room to grow. And by 2020, they're saying they're going to be doubling their service revenue of 2016. So in there, they have a $300 million, uh, $300 million paid subscriptions for Apple Music, iClouds, etc. And so Apple Music specifically grew more than 50% year over year. So this is just this little acquisition that they had of Beats uh, a couple of years ago here has really paid off for them. Something else very interesting as well is you look at PayPal, you look at the multiple of PayPal, the company itself. Well, Apple Pay itself, which is such a small segment of Apple, uh, now has more mobile transactions than PayPal. So they're saying that they had more than a billion transactions just this quarter uh, in Apple Pay. And when you put it in that perspective, it's just ludicrous that Apple's uh, still trading at that level that it is. Now, wearables, the smallest part of Apple here, uh, still is something that is, you know, uh, continuing to grow um, and still has, you know, earnings that come any company would just salvate over. Uh, so the wearables include the Apple Watch, AirPods, and the Beats. So this, again, is up 60% year over year. And revenue exceeded $10 billion over the last four quarters. So, and like Tim Cook said, this has only been on the market for a few years. You know, in the last year, we've seen $10 billion in revenue. And Watch is grown in the mid-40%. So just incredible, incredible growth. And uh, I think this is going to continue for some time. Um, they did not break out the Max. Um, I actually recorded this video once and I didn't have any audio, so I closed out the financials, but Macs were down about 5%, um, and they explained this as a difficulty uh, due to the timing of the Mac launch. Same thing with iPads, down about 5%, um, but they did mention the significant uh, uh, share increase, um, I think about 60% of the market, they said, uh, due to some analytic firms that they've contacted. Um, and also customer satisfaction at 94%, which is pretty amazing. So overall, an amazing quarter. Um, and you've seen the stock respond. That's a pretty big jump for Apple. Um, 
So I was wondering what you guys thought of this. If you had any ideas on this, um, I think it's probably going to stabilize around this price, maybe drop down a little bit. But uh, again, just amazing, amazing um, earnings from Apple, and it's be interesting to see how it trades in the next couple of days. Anyway, that's going to be it for today, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.